I'm not here to tell you that run progression is inherently bad or that they aren't nearly enough keys or progression is too slow. I agree that the amount of epic keys we get are kind of ridiculous and so does the team and I'm sure you're bored of hearing that again and again. I want to talk about an issue with toy machines that can ruin their vision of an RNG progression system, something that can actually counteract their goals and nobody is talking about it. So when you go to get Hog Rider in the toy machine, you expect the Hog Rider and only the Hog Rider and that devalues the other gold and fragments we get and that is the biggest problem. Now to explain what I mean, imagine you've got a coupon that gives you a random free pair of sneakers at a shoe shop and on that coupon you see a big image of Air Jordans and obviously who wouldn't be thrilled to get Air Jordans right? Now you understand that Air Jordans are out of stock very quickly so you'll probably get some random other shoe but you are still so hooked into the possibility of getting that, your expectations are built up so high. So imagine how you feel when you find out that you're getting a $60 pair of sneakers. You're gonna feel disappointed. You are hyping yourself up so much about the Air Jordans, but at the same time, $60 sneakers aren't bad at all. My Adidas sneakers are probably less than that. So the expectations of Air Jordans completely devalued the $60 pair of sneakers. Just like how your expectation every time you get a Hog Rider devalues the gold and fragments that you're getting. For gold, I get it. Some of us have hundreds of thousands of gold gathering dust. Getting disappointed about gold is reasonable for those veteran players. But fragments? That is such a bottleneck for my progression and certainly some of you guys as well. But we end up getting frustrated instead of glad that we're even getting them. The dev team here would say, wouldn't getting the Hog Rider outweigh the disappointment of getting the gold and fragments? Well, here's the problem. Let's say you did get that Air Jordans, okay? After a few coupon tries. At that point, your expectations of Air Jordans are met, not exceeded, and that is very important. And when it's met, your response would be, oh, that's awesome. I expected it for a long time, but I'm glad. That's not a bad reaction, but let's say the coupon didn't reference the Air Jordans at all and it just said claim free shoe here. And if you got the Air Jordans, that will actually exceed your expectations and that is when the satisfaction really hits. So going back to Clash Mini, even when I get a Hog Rider, unless it's the first few tries, I don't know about you, but I don't get very, very excited. It's even more of a relief that I don't have to waste more gold keys on it. Oh, see what I did there? I said waste. I mean, even I am subconsciously devaluing the other rewards. And you can compare your own emotions when getting the Hog Rider against Clash Royale or Brawl Stars back in the day. Do you remember back in like 2017 when you saw that legendary symbol in your chest? You and your friends were all gathered around on your table in school, freaking now it's getting super hyped anticipating which one you're gonna get those were the times right i don't feel a level of, of emotion even close to that in toy machines and if that satisfaction is supposed to be the selling point of rng progression what else do we have it's not all dark and gloomy to improve the satisfaction i have two solutions one simple one and one big rework the simple solution is to just change the marketing of toy machines. Don't just have a giant picture of the mini as your banner. Add some fragments or gold onto it, or don't even use a banner. The new minis you get as a reward speak for themselves. You might think that's insane. What would that do, right? Now, the banner actually solidifies your beliefs that the only thing valuable in the gacha is the new mini. Since the first and only thing you see before you click on that purchase button is a giant hog rider. That just adds oil to the fire, making you forget about the valuable gold and fragments even more. You might think that's not a big deal, but it is these signals that trigger your brain subconsciously, digging you deeper into your beliefs. But a branding change is not going to fix everything. I I think we need a rework to system to actually make this satisfying and I suggest getting rid of the linear set special mini progression. So you no longer need to unlock Hog Rider to get a chance at Chompy or the decoy. So now there's just one general set special unit toy machine and that will stick with you forever. They can reduce the chances of each unit as they wish, I'm not really bothered. In fact, it's probably necessary to keep the economy balanced. But that kind of muddies the water a little. You no longer have that one minute to expect. It suddenly feels more freeing. 
instead of being locked in your progression currently. So that heightens the excitement of getting a new mini instead of just feeling relief that you no longer need to be stuck on that unit. But it also reduces the frustration with a little gold or some fragments. There's also one big thing that reduces satisfaction a lot and that is the pity system. For the Hulk brother, a whopping 43% players would get him at the 80th try and it feels so sucky when you hit that count and it also removes the excitement factor that was the selling point of this system in the first place. 43% of you would know what I'm talking about. So what if the percentage chance of new minis increases by a bit every single fail? So if you don't have Hog Rider by the 70th key, the chances of the Hog Rider are now 10% instead of 1% and now maybe only 2% people will need to rely on that guarantee counter to get the Hog Rider instead of 33% today. And that also means that they don't have to display the counter so prominently anymore because now it's just a reminder of how bad your luck is. As you see the number go down and down, it's just infuriating. Huge thanks to Daniel for the suggestion by the way. And what better way to end the video than try our own luck. Now we're 22 times until we got to rely on that guarantee counter. So let's see if we are in that 43% people. Okay. Uh, Okay, well, that's bad. Okay, we got five more gold keys. It would be so great if we actually got the hover on camera. Come on. Come on, baby, give me it. Oh. Okay, it's fragments. I'll take it, actually. Fragments are fine. I need fragments. I'm running out of that. Five more tries. Come on. Give me what I want. Ooh. The white one. And, of course, it's gold as well. They're, they're literally the worst one. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, uh, fragments, fine, I'll take the fragments. Two more times, two more times, please. The RNG gods, please. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Fragments, please, at least. Oh, of course, it's gold. And the final one. Come on, we gotta finish this video with a bang. Come on. Come on, at least a purple. Oh my god, it's the worst one. Of course it's the worst one. Why wouldn't it be the worst one? And it's gold, of course it's gold. Why wouldn't it be gold? Oh my god. I don't even know how to wrap up this video anymore. Just whatever. Get out of here.